Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padawa and we're back to our latest update. This is the very latest on Typhoon Leon with international name Congre for this uh, Tuesday night, October 29, 2024, English version. Voted to by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. Now, let's begin with our update. We are monitoring this powerful typhoon which is a uh, uh, forecast to become a super typhoon within the next 12 to 24 hours and the joint typhoon warning center has upgraded it as it uh, currently uh, undergoes an extreme rapid intensification fa uh, phase okay so this is now a, uh, a serious threat to extreme northern Luzon, particularly northern Cagayan and uh, Batanes Cuba Islands. So Fox listening right now, especially over at Cagayan, the whole of Cagayan Valley, including Ilocos provinces, uh, Kalinga, Apeyao, Abva, and uh, most especially Batanes. Please take all these precautions. This is becoming an extremely dangerous, uh, dangerous catastrophic uh, cyclone, and uh, it's uh, currently undergoing extreme rapid intensification phase okay and uh, it's likely to pass over or very close to batanes uh in the evening uh, tomorrow night okay through the early morning of thursday october 31st and uh, please take all necessary precautions so here's now the uh, fast animation from the university of wisconsin tropical cyclone page the size of the system is similar to uh, Christine, although Christine is a tropical storm, but this time it's a, a near super typhoon uh, uh, category classification. And uh, the difference between the two, this system is moving into a very low wind shear environment compared to Christine, which is moving or has moved into a uh, moderate to high wind shear environment that's why uh, that storm has brought lots of rainfall because it was displaced due to the easterly wind shear most of the rain bands was displaced over the Bicol region for three days which generated 900 or more than 900 millimeters of rainfall particularly here in Naga City so the difference of this system, if Christine is more of rain, this is combination of uh, extremely powerful winds and, I mean, violent winds and also very heavy to torrential rainfall, which could uh, also generate some flooding in low-lying areas, uh, roughly up to four of 400 to 500 millimeters for the next 24 hours. So please take all this precaution. It's moving northwest or north northwest at 15 kph, same with the speed of uh, Christine, and it's likely to affect uh, most parts of extreme northern Luzon because of the sudden more to the westward track, and it's likely that after hitting or passing very close to uh, Batanes, it will make landfall in the vicinity of southern Taiwan within the next uh, 72. Uh, or um, 50 hours from now okay so here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation from weathernerds.com you can see this uh, pink uh, or violet uh, color at the southern part of the circulation it's a combination of violent winds extreme winds and uh, heavy rainfall of up to 500 millimeters and uh, the Bicol region is uh, lucky enough right now. We are on the edge. We don't feel anything. We are on the dry uh, spot of this system. No rainfall. But later on today and uh, on Thursday, we will be experiencing um, visual conditions from the west and southwest. So nothing to worry about. Just gloomy conditions and um, 
dry, dry air. So that's the uh, condition here over the Beagle region. So nothing to worry about. The storm will not affect us directly. Okay. And uh, however, if you're living over uh, Ilocos region, I mean the northern part of Ilocos region, that's Ilocos provinces, Kalinga, Apayao, Abva, the whole of uh, Cagayan Valley region, including Batanes, please take all our safety precautions. This is uh, going to generate some extremely high storm surges over Batanes and also the coastal waters and beachfront uh, waters of uh, or co uh, beachfront areas of uh, extreme northern and eastern Luzon. High waves of up to uh, 9 to 10 f meters will be expected here near the eye but along the coastal waters we expect 4 to 5 feet of storm surge okay these are uh, waves from the sea that could generate coastal flooding over the coastal uh, municipalities of extreme northern Luzon so watch out for this violet one once you enter this area it will be visibility zero and very heavy torrential rains now here's the track that we created around uh, Lebanon, this, uh, this is for the uh, uh, this is the uh, advisory number two issued at uh, 2 p.m. based on the 11 a.m. clock so this is uh, same scenario same clock nothing changes it will just pass more to the south here okay and uh, no changes in the time frame and uh, most likely this will pass uh, very close uh, roughly 50 kilometers east of uh, Batanes around uh, 2 a.m. of Thursday or late uh, Wednesday evening okay you can see, clearly see here the high confidence of this uh, forecast and medium confidence as it moves across Taiwan this uh, system which is so large about 1000 kilometers in diameter 1120 to be exact that's the area of uh, 55 kph or 30 knot winds okay the uh, diameter and uh, the whole of Taiwan will be under tropical storm force winds or and gustiness of more than uh, 95 kilometers per hour so this will be a very dangerous system and it could become one of the worst cyclone to hit Taiwan this 2024 now let's take a look at uh, oh by the way the forecast winds of the uh, uh, joint typhoon warning center has been ramped up from 150 kph uh, the uh, current sustained winds it's uh, upgraded to 175 this afternoon and right now it's already 215 to 15 kph category 4 based on the uh, Sophia Simpson hurricane scale okay Pagasa is likely to upgrade it into a super typhoon or just 175 then come shy of becoming a super typhoon and as we uh, take a look at the uh, Wind signals of Agasa, it's already signal number two across the northern portions of Abva, Kalinga, the whole of Apeao, Ilocos Norte, Cagayan, Isabela, Babuyan, and Batanes Cucubo Islands. Well, wind signal number one remains uh, up over southern Abva, Ilocos Sur, Benguet, La Union. Okay, they forgot to put La Union here. Okay, co uh, correction, Pagasa. Also, Ifugao. Uh, Mountain Province, uh, Vizcaya, Casquino, Aurora, Eastern sections of Nueva Ecija, Eastern sections of uh, no, the whole of Northern Quezon, Eastern sections of Southern Quezon, Pulilio Island, Pico regions also ex uh, included, but uh, for my own opinion, uh, it must not, okay, since we are on the dry area. So, uh, that's the uh, decision of the forecasters so they are uh, placing uh, parts of the Bicol region Albay, Camarines provinces and Canada one is under wind signal number one okay so and if you take a look now on the multi-model diagnostic comparison showing to you the forecast the wind forecast of the system um, most of the models 
in this uh, comparison is only up to 120 knots but we have the latest from the uh, ships ensemble from or chips and sham we have the latest now from the chips ensemble from uh, uh, massachusetts institute of technology courtesy of dr kerry emmanuel and later we're gonna show it to you in a while and the, the forecast here is up to 220 kph here's the uh forecast of the wind shear so tomorrow until uh, the 31st the wind shear is very low that's the reason why the system is expected to have an extreme rapid intensification phase and this is surface temperature the oceanic heat content or the tropical cyclone heat potential remains so warm and uh, uh, so far that's the scenario so we expect this to become a uh, catastrophic uh, cyclone and here's the latest from Kerry Emmanuel MIT wind model forecast tracks from the chips uh, ensemble okay it shows here possibility of becoming a super typhoon within the next 12 to 24 hours we are now here at zero zero hours so for the next uh, uh, 12 to 24 hours it's likely that Congrey or uh, mm, Leon will reach super typhoon strength either 250 kph or 260 or 130 or to 140 knots okay and then uh, here's the uh, latest uh, flocks from all asian agencies and they all agree the system will pass very close to batanes within the next uh, 24 to 36 hours and by 48 hours or uh, around uh, Thursday evening it will make landfall over southern Taiwan so most likely it will disrupt sea travel uh, air travel across uh, Taiwan including work classes because of this large potential super typhoon here's the uh, forecast of the wind for for here's the wind forecast from the European model courtesy of uh, windy.com we will forward this until the death of uh, of uh, Leon let's move into uh, uh, November 1 the rest of the Philippine Islands will have fair weather good weather nothing to worry about this All Saints and All Souls Day and if we move into uh, November 3 we now have the uh, uh, new I will have we'll be having another blast of the northeast monsoon and it's likely to affect the uh, northern portions of Luzon between uh, November 5 to 8 particularly if we switch into the American model so busy conditions will be expected across northern and eastern Luzon okay and if we take a look at the uh, rain forecast this is the 24-hour rainfall accumulation for the next uh, three days I'm going to show to you uh, right now for the next 24 hours beginning uh, October 30 we expect the areas of uh, Cagayan Valley region including uh, Ilocos uh, provinces some portions of uh, Cordillera administrative region okay they will be having a rainfall of 50 to more than 200 millimeters okay so that includes uh, uh, areas of Isabella and the northern portions of uh, uh, Cagayan is gonna be uh, filling the brunt of this rainfall and it's likely to reach a high of 250 millimeters or more as what we've observed during the passage of uh, uh, Christine, the forecast is similar to this, but in the actual, it's plus 200 millimeters more. So likely, it could reach 400 to 500 millimeters of rainfall. Since we are still on the wet phase of the modern Junior Oscillation, it enhances more rainfall, uh, especially during the passage of a typhoon. So these areas will have uh, moderate to very intense torrential rainfall across uh, 
the path of this uh, super potential super typhoon. Okay, so uh, please take all necessary precautions for, for the possibility of flash floods and landslides. Just like what we uh, experienced here in uh, Naga and Bigol during the past, uh, I mean last week, uh, last week, yeah, during the passage of Christine. And on Thursday, continue the uh, very heavy to torrential rainfall will uh, prevail over Batanes and Babuyan group of islands from 50 to more than 260 millimeters. So likely this will be around uh, 300 to uh, 500 millimeters of rainfall since these models are more conservative when using the values of rain forecast. Okay. So that's the uh, rain forecast. So please take all the precautions up there of your Batanes. As for the uh, extreme uh, effects of this system, you can see here uh, today, uh, Tuesday, and tomorrow, it looks like this area will receive extreme precipitation or extreme rainfall while over the Bigel region, Eastern Visayas, we are generally dry. Okay, so nothing to worry about. You're, those who are asking if, if it will rain tomorrow, Tuesday, I mean, Wednesday, October 30, there will be uh, no rainfall. There will be some showers, maybe, along the west coast of Camarillo Sur. Uh, there is also a possibility of a rainfall on the uh, 31st of October, Thursday, along the coastal waters or coastal areas of Camarillo provinces and Albay. And that's it. Okay. So far, that's the latest right now on the impending approach of this uh, soon-to-be super typhoon uh, Leon. If it continues to uh, intensify, it will reach 240 to 250 kph, one minute average. So, uh, please take all the precautions, folks up there in extreme northern zone, as we uh, prepare for the arrival of this uh, large but extremely powerful typhoon okay prayers to all uh, our kababayan uh, there over extreme northern sun please take all the precautions evacuate if you uh, are advised to do so especially on hazard prone areas of Grand valley region and we'll see you again tomorrow for the very latest on the approach of soon to be super typhoon Leon or Conray. From Typhoon to the Sun, this is Mike Padua saying good night, stay safe always, and thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.